But God decides to come into this world differently. God decides to come down as a baby in a manger. God didn't make a grand entrance like some of us would when we go into the club with our best dress fits on. He, he, he didn't show up with all the pomp and circumstances and the pyrotechnics and fireworks popping in the sky. God didn't show up in the temple. God didn't show up in the palace, but God in all his omnipotence, God in all his omnipresence, God in all his omniscience, and God with his infinite wisdom comes into this world as a baby in a manger. How many of us know what a manger is? Allow, allow me to put us in the situation of a manger. A manger is a long open box where farmers put the food for horses and cattle to eat from. Mangers were dirty. Mangers were messy. But that's how God decided to enter into this world. God wanted to enter into a world that was messy. Now you may be looking at me a little funny and that's okay because you may not have been in a messy situation before. But God was so good that he showed up in the middle of your mess and brought you out of that same mess and cleaned you up so shiny that people around you had no idea of the mess that you were in. In other words, there ought to be a witness in St. Paul that can say that no matter how messy the manger is, no matter how messy your situation could be, no matter how dirty your situation could be in this Christmas season, God is a God who can deal with your situation. No matter how dirty your situation is, God can deal with your situation. No matter how impossible your situation might look right now, God can deal with your situation. No matter what someone said about it, God can deal with your situation. In the messiest of your situations, the God I serve is able to fix my situation. In the darkest of situations, the God I serve is able to light up my dark situation. In the craziest of situations, the God I serve is able to fix my situation. When it seems like there's no way to be out, the God I serve is able to get me out of my situation. Even when you don't think that God is able, God is a way. God has a way of showing each and every one of us each possibilities of what God can do. That's why the hymn writers say there is no secret of what God can do. For what he's done for others, he can certainly do for you. Is there anybody in the sanctuary who can declare that you serve a God who can do exceedingly, who can do abundantly, who can do above all that you can ask or think or can imagine? Yeah. Friends, although our first image of Jesus is in a smelly, dirty manger, Friends, we have to realize that we cannot leave Jesus in that messy manger because what was born in a manger walked on water. What was born in a manger turned water into wine. What was born in a manger healed the sick. What was born in a manger raised the dead. Somebody will get it in a few seconds. What was born in a manger fed 5,000 souls. What was born in a manger died on an old rugged cross and was raised from the dead on that third day with all power in his hand. So if you haven't got it right now, let me go ahead and let you know that how you start is not how you finish. Thank you, Pastor Barnes, for reminding me that how we start, that is not how we finish, because what turned into a mess can turn into a miracle. What started as a bad report from the doctor can end up as a testimony. What started in pain can end up in glory, because we serve a God who specializes in turning what men meant for evil and can turn it around for our good. Is there anybody in the sanctuary that has seen God turn ugly into something beautiful? Have you seen God after finishing what God was doing in your life? His glory was revealed. Your life has been made whole. Your situation has turned better because God is able to do all things 